ladies and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today we are doing a curly lace wig pushback with baby hair style. And today's hair is provided by Ali Pearl Hair. Now they did send over this 24 inch 180% um, density burgundy uh, deep curly wig. It is so, so pretty. Um, right now I'm showing you everything that came in the box, the little goodies that come with your purchase. And now I'm going to get into showing you this gorgeous wig. Now this is a medium cap size as well um so you guys can kind of see how it will fit on her head shape and this wig is so bomb it came this color i did not do any bleaching or coloring to this wig whatsoever and this is this wig shut out the box super dope super pretty now today i'm going to install it on my sister today and if you guys been tuning to my channel first things first you guys see that i am now in a shop location um i was doing my youtube videos at home but now um i am in the salon and you guys will see this background more often as i'm doing my tutorials and i like it better because um it seemed like the videos came out more clear that i recently recorded and it's more light so you guys can really really see um what i'm doing so i hope you guys um, like the beginning of this video on the finished look and you stay tuned to watch how I install and style this wig. Now, as you can see, I'm already starting off with the ball cap method. Um, she went ahead and did her ball cap, and now I'm just going to jump in straight straight into the installation process. Now, guys, I know I look a mess right now. Um, one, I am going through a chemical peel, which I will be doing a vlog on that um, after the process is complete. So right now, I'm doing a chemical peel, and my face is really, really messed up right now going through the process. So I do have my mask on and my hoodie on because... I just look a mess but this ain't about me right now this is about the wig and the sleigh and everything else so of course i'm just going in with that ruby kisses foundation i'm applying that on the inside and on top of the lace so it blends perfectly and now i'm just going to go in with my beautiful hustler lace prep um um alcohol and just uh clean up their hairline just to make sure there's no extra makeup on that hairline to prevent her wig from sticking and lasting and for today's install i will be using four layers of my beautiful hustler lace mode adhesive of course um everybody's asking when would i restock my next big restock will be in july which is right around the corner so make sure you guys stay tuned i will provide you with a date as soon as possible but um, right now, I am just going in with the largest size bottle, and I am just applying that adhesive and going in with my um, edge brush and just spreading that glue out. And as I mentioned, I will be using four layers. So once that last layer turns clear, I will go ahead and begin to pull that lace down and get into the sleigh. So as you can see, I'm going ahead, I'm applying um, that next layer and I zoomed in a little bit more so you guys can see um, it still has great quality as far as the quality of the video and seeing how clear um, 
like how detailed this install is but now that that glue is clear i'm going to go ahead and pull that lace down right into that glue and i just like to take my fingertips and push that lace right in and i'm going to have her hold each side down as i blow dry on that heat setting and just getting that lace pre-melted before I tie it down with that elastic band. Now, as I mentioned, this style today will be a pushback style. So the installation process was pretty quick and simple. But I'm going to show you how to get that nice and neat pushback look. Um, and, you know, of course, she can change the style as she wants to because it is a frontal wig. So she can part it however which way she wants to on both sides you know or wear it up down you know however she prefer but for the look today it just would be a simple pushback with baby hairs but i'm going to go ahead and continue to blow, uh, blow dry that lace on the heat setting and once it's all melted in i will go on with that elastic band and tie down that lace So now that I have that lace tied down, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I sew down the wig in the back. I usually don't show it on camera, but today, um, well, for more now, I'm trying to get more detail with you guys so you guys can really see and get an understanding of what I'm doing. So I'm just taking um, a part in the back, and you know, this is a frontal wig, so it does have the tracks in the back. So I'm just going to um, neatly part across to separate the hair on you know in that area and i'm just going to take a needle and thread and just um sew in that gap right there i'm not going to sew through the tracks i'm just going to sew in that space right there so when she take off take off her wig she can just lift it up and see the thread and just easily cut it but as i am um as i sew down the back i do take the wig and i pull it down to stretch it that way it has a more tighter compression um, on her head and then make sure that her wig is laying completely flat and smooth towards the top um, and I think it's important to do this step because if not you could possibly um, one your wig cannot lay flat and it could be bunched up towards the top so to prevent any of that and having to redo this process just go ahead and stretch the wig as you sew across the um, you know across the back of where her braids are So now that I went ahead and removed that elastic, I'm just going to go ahead and begin to raise it off the extra lace. Just taking my scissors, slitting it right down the middle as I always do. And I'm just going to go in with an eyebrow razor and razor off all of that extra lace because it's just not needed, of course. And then I will, you know, um, begin to pull down the section for the baby hair. Um, I just did like three swoops on each side and kind of busted down the middle, um, like, you know, as far as the placement of it. Um, I didn't want to do like the down baby hairs towards the center, you know, coming down the forehead. I just wanted to keep it simple and cute, especially because the color is already bomb. Um, I don't have to do too much as far as the baby hair to complete the look. So I'm just going to raise it off the extra lace, cut the lace from around the ear and get into pulling down the baby hair sections.
So as I'm pulling down that baby hair section, I'm just going in with my wax stick and applying that wax stick behind the hairline of those baby hairs because I am going to hot comb um, this top part out. And this step is very important to getting that pushback look. You want it to be as flat and as neat as possible. So um, once I go ahead and put on the baby hairs for both sides and I add that wax, I will go on my go on through my hot comb and comb the roots of the front of that wig going straight towards the back. Um, and you want to make sure you comb it in the direction that you want it to fall. So for the center part, I will hot comb it going straight back. And when I get towards the size, I will kind of let it curve just a little bit, like hot comb it in a curve. That way it can kind of fall like behind the ears the way I want it to. But you guys will see more of that when I get to that part. And you just really and you just really want to keep hot combing that top area until it's nice and flat and neat and those hairs are straight. Yes, it's a curly wig, so you will have to make a few passes through the wig, but it's all going to be worth it. Trust me. So I'm just going to continue to hot comb until I feel like it is smooth and flat enough. And then I will spray that hairline down once again with some holding spray and tie that down and show you how I get the curls um, nice and moisturized.
So now that I have all of that smoothed down, I'm just going to go in with some holding spray and also spray that on that front part and just kind of blow dry it, comb and smooth that back to just give that finishing nice hold for uh, that pushback look. But now I'm just going to go in with some um, Nairobi's mousse and also some water in a spray bottle and just apply that all on the hair and take a big wide tooth comb and just comb everything out until the curls are defined and cute. And I'm just taking some more holding spray and spraying that once again before I get ready to um, move, remove that elastic band and do the baby hair. And I'm just taking a blow dryer on a heat setting and just smoothing all of that back after detangling the curls to the T. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and just remove that elastic like I mentioned and I'm going to slay um, her baby hairs quickly and then I will pretty much create um well not create but <laughs> finish the end of this tutorial so I'm just going to go ahead and cut and swoop the baby hair and you know show you guys the finishing look so stay tuned
last but not least, I'm just going to take some oil sheen and spray it on the hair to give it a nice little shine. And this will complete this tutorial. This is a pushback curly wig, and this wig is from Ali Pearl Hair once again. Absolutely love this company, one of my top faves. And I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful, gorgeous look on my sis. So thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Um, make sure you guys follow my Instagram page so you can see my daily hair photos and then you know also other videos you can see what's coming next what I'm going to post on my YouTube so I hope you guys enjoyed this slay thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time don't forget to subscribe uh, press that subscribe button and turn on your bells for my new uploads thank you